I've got a few little crappies here I'm going to do. We're going to... Tell you what, well, you can clean a lot of fish in a big hurry. And look at that, no waste of meat. No waste of meat at all. Gonna have my knife has got to dry out a little bit more. <laughs> you see that? We've cleaned, I don't know how many fish here, eight fish or so, in less time than it takes to tell about it, you know. Let your knife do the work, remember that. See how that does that? I mean, that's beautiful. You can do this, too. Use it on, the only thing I, I suggest is when you do big fish like bass, make sure your blades are sharp and let your blade do the work. If you let your blade do the work, you save yourself a lot of trouble. A lot of people don't let that blade do the work. Now, here we are again. We're just going to go ahead and clean these. Take, we're taking the rib meat out. that hardly any meat on that rib so I don't feel bad about doing that a lot of people oh you're wasting meat no you aren't wasting meat. you're saving yourself from choking to death see how you take those rib bones out just go right around there and you just I mean you can just take those out I'll tell you what, these are going to be some nice tasty fillets. They aren't the biggest, but I don't like letting fish go to waste, especially when they're hooked deep. See that? Let's go ahead. Bam. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Got a nice handful of fillets just nice it just worked out beautiful so one of these days I might get a snapping turtle on here and see if we can do that on film that ought to be interesting huh okay I'll get back to you with the next fish I clean what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fillet a northern pike a lot of people don't keep northern pike because of the Y bones that are located right here in the shoulder part of it and they're real slimy right in the shoulder part right here and I'm going to flay it and show you how to get this out. And this is a good eating fish like walleye. It's got nice white meat, real firm. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start with safety first. Sharp knife and uh, a safety glove. This is a stainless steel glove. Keep from cutting yourself. Anyway, we're going to make the first cut right down along here, all the way back to the dorsal fin here and what we do is we cut right behind the head here you can do this with a electric knife or a or a hand knife when I'm doing it with a hand one because I can feel the top of the Y bones as I go down what you do is you just go just like this and you can feel the tops of the Y bones as you're clicking across them and you just keep going all the way down until you get to this dorsal fin and then you just come right up and that gives you a nice fillet here and uh, we'll get all the fillets off of here you'll end up with five fillets and you turn it over and you do these next you cut right here and go right down toward the tail just like you do your other your fillet and anything else right along the backbone And you've got another fillet there. Turn it over. Do the same thing right here. Right down along the backbone. And 
your, the, your third fillet. And then what you do here is you cut right down alongside the head by the gill all the way down. And right here you can see the top of your Y bones right here. What you want to do is you want to stay just to the outside of that and uh, get this fillet going right down. Go, go inward toward the ribs and you'll see this fillet come right off of there just like so. See how that fillet is coming off? And you end up with just a really nice piece of meat there. And you cut that just like so. And you end up with a beautiful fillet. Do the same thing on this side. Cut it. So you can see the tops of your Y bones right here. Just stay right. Just kind of cut inward. And just fillet that piece of meat right out of there. And what you do is you take that Y bone out of play. And you, these are pretty much boneless fillets. And they taste just as good or better than walleye. There you got five of them. And what we'll do is we'll take the skin off of them, just like any other fish. Just take and get your knife real close underneath. And just flay them just like that. And you got a beautiful piece of white meat that'll. Uh, it's just as good as any other fish. And this is the back piece here that came off the back. What we'll do is we'll start at one end of that. And what you and sometimes what you end up on a bigger pike. You can fry this hole, or what you can do is you can take and split that right down the middle, just like this. And you'll have a nice couple of good fillets, because they have a bone that comes right up the middle, and you get that right out of there. This is what you have in the middle. This is uh, the side fillets, off the side. end up with a nice fillet there there's no reason to throw a northern pike back when they're such good eating and that's all there is to it it's real simple easy to do